an e-commerce store from scratch. Before we get started, I would like to introduce to you some of our guests tonight. The first guest we have is Dr. Earl Simons, your college director of government relations and strategic initiative. Dr. Simons, could you say something? I think he's eating. Yeah, he's there. He's ready. Everyone, let's enjoy and get all the information. And I just want to, I'm just going to pass it on so that we can get started. Thank you. Awesome. Okay, so now we move on to our next guest. He is Harry Wells. Um, your college SBDC director. Oh, hey, good evening, everyone. Uh, I'd like to uh, thank everybody for being here. I particularly would like to thank the great job that Brian Young has been doing as a part of this, this ESD uh, Empire State Development Initiative. We'd like to thank him. Again, I would like to thank Dr. Earl Simon and I also would like to thank the contribution made by the uh, York College Business and Economics Department. And we are collaborating on several initiatives and we, I, I will tell you more about them as we go along. Uh, we're very happy to have Ms. Tony Coven brown mm -hmm. I sat in with, uh, on a training program that she did uh, that over the summer. She's a local MWBE. She has a lot of ex experience and that training program really knocked me off my feet. <laughs> so right now, uh, your college is, uh, we, we have been able to secure funding from the, new, uh, the, S, uh, the SBA Small Business Administration and Empire State Development. So we are happy and lucky uh, hopefully, if we treat her nice, Miss Brown is going to be with us until late fall. So we will have these five workshops, uh, uh, this workshop series to go along. And then Miss Brown has also consented to work with us, work with the SBDC advisors and student interns to help provide one-to-one -one counseling and technical assistance. So between the workshops and after the five workshops are over, over, we're still going to have Ms. Brown and she's going to be working with us and hopefully we'll probably pick up and do another workshop maybe in late summer or in the fall. I'm so happy tonight uh, to announce that so far we've been able to secure four student interns to work with us. So uh, they they just started. This week was their first week, so give us a couple of weeks to get our act together. But if you don't understand something between one of the sessions, uh, something might be a little vague to you. You could call some of these young people. How do I know that? Because I live with my grandson. Anything I don't understand, he's thirteen. I asked him to explain it to me. So based on this funding that we, we were able to receive, uh, as we are doing this workshop series, we're also uh, preparing to start a workshop series on financial management with the, with the business faculty, uh, with the business faculty also employing the student intern, York SBDC business advisors. So we have a lot of, it's a lot of opportunity in Southeast Queens we are just getting started. Over the past year, we helped a couple of our clients get opportunity at LaGuardia Airport. And when I went to those meetings and they were people were bidding on those opportunities, you had MWB, MWBs from what? Texas, from, Texas from, uh, from California. So all this is in our backyard. So let's, uh, let's take advantage of it. And one last thing, be a little patient with us. Right now, we're still in the middle of a pandemic. 
I know the York SBDC will work, we we're very active and actively involved with the PPP loan programs, the economic, uh, economic EIDL loan programs. So we are doing this, helping people fill out their applications. The students will be doing some of that in the future, but I'll stop right there and let's move forward. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Harry. Our presenter tonight is Tony Coleman Brown. Ms. Brown has an in-depth expertise and impressive track record of working with Southeast Queens business owners. Ms. Brown has over a decade of experience in training student interns in capacity building for minorities and women business owners. Anyway, that is my part. So Tony, <laughs> we'll take it away. All right, awesome, awesome, awesome. Thank you guys so much for that awesome introduction. Thank you to York College Small Business Development Center, to the York College School of Business, the president there at this university. And thank you to Mr. Harry Wells for this amazing opportunity. I'm going to take this time to share my screen and put it in presentation mode so we can rock and roll tonight. I hope you guys are ready to have a good time because I am definitely ready to have a good time with all of you. Tonight, we are going to start this series off with getting started with e-commerce with Shopify. And we're gonna have a good time. Um, you heard from Brian, you heard from Dr. Simons, you also heard from Harry Wells, and now I am going to be your facilitator. So tonight what we're going to cover are topics as follows. We're going to talk about why Shopify, and we're going to talk about the basics of setting up your store. This is not a class for advanced people who already have Shopify stores set up. This is for the very beginner. And one thing you will find out about me and the way that I train is that first and foremost, I like to have a lot of fun. I like to have a good time. So I like to engage with the audience. But also you'll find that I like to break things down so that everybody understands. We we have students on this call that are going to be learning about basically everything step by step, just like you are. And as they're learning, they're going to be able to teach. And the same thing will be for you. As you learn, you'll be able to teach as well. So this is a beginner course. We're going to go over picking a theme that works best for your business because I recognize that many of you have different types of businesses. And we're going to talk a little bit about that too. We're going to talk about adding your first product to your store. And we're going to talk about adding a blog and why that's important. And then we're going to talk about optimizing store images with Canva. So we're going to do a deep dive. We're going to go into this and I only have a few slides and the rest is going to be us digging right into the platform and making it happen. Okay, I hope you guys are ready. So who am I? You heard from Brian, but I'm Tony Coleman Brown. I'm a mother. I'm a wife. I'm an author. I'm a coach and I'm a friend. I'm also a master lead generator trainer and I've hosted hundreds and hundreds of workshops and masterclasses and I've trained thousands of people. I always kind of start off with this and I always like to let people know my why and you know my why are definitely my two daughters Sasha and Taylor. They're the reason why I do everything that I do. I just love me some them. So let's get right into it. Why choose Shopify? First and foremost, guys, Shopify is an all-in-one e-commerce solution. And what all-in-one means is that you can get everything all in one place. It's not like you have to go over here and get email. You have to go over here and get marketing. Everything is all in one place. It has a payment provider, so you don't have to go in another place to get a payment provider everything is all within the platform and you're gonna the platform and you're gonna love it 
Also, it's a hosted online solution. And what that means is that it's not like you have to buy a URL and then host it and build the website up from scratch. It's already hosted on major servers. So you have major, major businesses that have their websites on Shopify. Um, I don't know how many of you know the Kardashians and the Jenners. Well, Kylie Jenner is a billionaire. So how did she become a billionaire? By selling her lip kits, right? So basically, you know, she got her lips, she got filler in her lips and made her lips plump. And then she started dropping these lip kits. And every time Kyler Jenner would drop a lip, a lip kit, they would have to expand capacity on the servers of the platform. Now, what platform does Kylie Jenner have her billion dollar business on? It's on Shopify. That's right. So you guys will be in good company. It has built-in marketing tools. It has the capacity to do inventory management. And also it has probably some of the most amazing analytics that I've seen on a platform. And I'm gonna show you guys all of this stuff. And then you can integrate it with multiple channels like Facebook and Pinterest and Instagram. And what that means is you know, Facebook allows you to put a store on your page and you can actually build your Shopify store and have your products go directly to your Facebook page. And you can have them go directly to your Pinterest page and directly to your Instagram page. So it's almost like you have your store set up, but you're able to push your products out to multiple channels so that you can just get more reach and more people on your store and buying your products and buying your services. So it's it's amazing. And also it's 100% custom, customizable. So you can basically customize it the way you want to. And we're gonna go into that tonight too. And also Shopify has its own payment gateway which is amazing. So you don't have to worry about, you know, Square or Stripe or anything like that. I mean, you can link it up with PayPal as well, but it has its own payment gateway. And so one of the things you can do is if you wanna see some examples of some other Shopify stores, this is a URL that you can go to their blog and just go to Shopify-stores and it'll give you examples of 50 different Shopify stores that you can look at and see what they've been able to do and, you know, just get some overall ideas with regards to what you can do. Now, what type of items can you sell on Shopify? Because this is a good question because people ask this a lot. You know, believe it or not, you can sell both physical products and digital products on Shopify. So you can sell anything from makeup to clothes, packaged foods, courses, subscription boxes, coffee, bath and body care, candles, wine, eBooks, courses, I said that. And also I get a lot of people that ask the question, but can you sell a service on Shopify? And normally, you know, that would be a no question or a no answer. But believe it or not, if you want to sell your service on Shopify, you can. Because if you're a consultant or a salon owner or a coach or a financial advisor, you can set up your service as a product on Shopify. And that way you can put your business on Shopify as well. Now, Shopify also has some amazing apps, and we're going to look at some of the apps more so on the call we do next week than on the call we do this week, but it has amazing apps like Request a Quote, or it has the Book That app, and it has calendar apps. So if you want to sell some of your services and package them as a product, like 
attend sessions of a coaching class or a discovery session or one-on-one -on -one coaching sessions, or if you want somebody to request a quote for a service that you provide, you can do all of that on Shopify. And so you can sell both products and you can sell services if you choose to on the platform. Now, this is how you get started, okay? All you have to do is go to shopify.com and this is the screen that you're going to see. Last year, the state of New York had a program where you could go to shopify.com forward slash New York. And you would see the same screen, but it would be a little bit different because they were giving you 90 days free. But that program ended back in November of 2020. But now you can still get the 14 day trial when you get started at shopify.com. So when you get to this site, all you have to do is click on this green button that says start your free trial. Then it's gonna take you to this screen. And this screen is going to ask you for your email address and it's gonna ask you for your password. And then it's gonna ask you for your store name. Now Shopify immediately is going to give you a URL and it's gonna be whatever you name your store, if the name is available, dot myshopify.com. Now you can go and purchase a regular domain and add it to the Shopify store so that whatever you call it, if it's whatever, whatever.com, you know, then it will be added to your Shopify store so you won't have to use the long domain name that Shopify provides for you. And then you're gonna click the green button and click create your store. And it's automatically gonna take you to this screen that's gonna ask you a couple of questions about yourself. And it's gonna ask you if you're already selling stuff. And if the answer is no, then it's just no. And if, if the answer is yes, then it's gonna ask you what's your current revenue, um, what industry you're operating in. Um, it also will ask you if you're designing this store for a client but most of you are gonna be doing this for yourself. So you just answer the questions, click next. Then it's gonna take you here and it's gonna ask you to add an address so you can get paid. And that's really important because we all wanna get paid. And then you could click the green button that says enter my store. Then after that, what's gonna happen is you're gonna get a verification email. And once you confirm your email, you'll be able to go and enter your store. And then it's going to take you to the old infamous Shopify dashboard. And tonight what we're going to be doing is after I show you a few more slides, I'm going to take you into this dashboard because like I said to you guys, I am actually going to be building a Shopify store with you. Now my business, the Network for Women in Business, what I do is I have group coaching programs and I also have courses for female entrepreneurs. And I, you know, we help them to market and promote their businesses. But I have a multitude of different courses and I have other items now that I wanna sell. And I wanna be able to sell t-shirts, with quotes on them. And I also want to sell journals and different things like that. One of my girlfriends, I want to have a whole section on relaxation. One of my girlfriends is going to be sourcing a candle for me. So I have a multitude of things that I want to test and add to my store. Now, you may ask, well, where are you going to get those items? Well, you're going to find that with Shopify, you can have items already in inventory that you wanna sell. You can have items that you may wanna make like crocheting slippers or crocheting vest, or you may have items that you cook that you can ship. You know, you may be a baker and you may have cakes that, you know, that you may ship. It may be packaged food that you wanna ship, whatever it is you can do it on Shopify. But if you don't have a product, you can do something on Shopify called drop shipping. 
Now with drop shipping, there are a bunch of different apps and there are a bunch of different companies that will allow you to drop ship their items. Now what that means is you can sell the items in your store at a higher rate and you can purchase it from the drop shipper at a lower rate and you keep the difference. And what happens is they will ship the item for you and all you have to do is just connect it to your store and it will, it's automatic. It's, it's totally automatic and some of it can be manual. And we'll talk about that too. And like for me, you know, there are a bunch of different places that I can source t-shirts. I can do t-shirts on Canva or I can do t-shirts from this company called Printful. And there are a bunch of other t-shirt companies that you, once you have your logo that you want on your item, all you have to do is set it up and they will actually print it and ship it for you. So you sell it in your store at a marked up price. Once you get a sale, all you have to do, it's automatically connected and it will ship out at the lower cost and you keep the difference. So you can drop ship a lot of different items on Shopify. So you can have the items that you make, you can have items that you source from other people through, through drop shipping, and you, or you can have your services that you have set up as a product, like coaching or financial consulting, whatever it is. But this is the initial dashboard that you're gonna see when you go to Shopify. And one of the things that they're gonna ask you, you're gonna see this when we actually go into my store, as you see, I went through the, the screens that I showed you before, and you see I have network for women in business dot my Shopify, and this is the admin area, and that's where we're gonna go. But what you're gonna find is that you're not gonna see this bar because I actually selected a plan. And tonight, what we're gonna do, we're gonna go in here and I'm gonna walk you through all of these items on the left navigation bar. And we're gonna show you also how to set up a theme. And we're gonna show you how to go into the settings and some of the most important things you need to set up in your settings. And the next time we're gonna do the more marketing and promotional aspects of Shopify. So I have a whole list of items we're gonna cover next week and we're gonna cover the items that I mentioned to you earlier this week. So when you first go in, I would advise you to select a plan. And they have three plans on Shopify. You have the $29 a month, the $79 a month, and the $299 a month. For most of us on this call, we really only need the $29 a month plan. Now I'm gonna tell you this and I'm gonna give you a warning. When we start adding apps next week, be careful because the apps, a lot of the apps are free, but a lot of the apps definitely have a monthly fee associated with it. So when we go into the call next week, you're gonna hear me talking about, just be careful with the apps, don't add all the apps. I'm gonna tell you what some of the most important apps you should have. And you know, cause if you add too many apps, it could bring this $29 a month up really fast and you don't want that. So basically these are all of the things that you get at $29 a month and you guys can go through that and make your own buying decision. For some of you, you may want the $79 a month, but that's totally and completely up to you. And then you can do the billing cycle every 30 days or once a year. That's completely up to you and up to your budget, okay? And so now what I wanna do is I wanna move right on over into Shopify, okay? So I'm gonna stop sharing my screen for a second and I'm gonna start sharing it again. And if you um, are unmuted, if I can ask you to just go ahead and um, mute your phone again so that everybody can hear me okay. So I'm gonna ask you guys before we go into the platform, was the information good so far? You could just type yes in the chat if the information has been good so far. Yes? All right, so 
Yes, 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 indeed. All right, I love that. I love good feedback, okay? So now we're gonna go right into the store. All right, hopefully you guys can all see this screen very well. I'm right into my Shopify store. You guys, I told you I went through the steps that I just went through. And this is the store, networkforwomeninbusiness.myshopify.com. I'm in the admin area. Now, here are some of the things that you can do. You can import a store if you already have a store. You may have a store on another platform and you wanna import it into Shopify. And you can do that if you have like WordPress and all of that other stuff, you can do that. You can customize your theme, you can add your domain, you can set up your payments. And then you're gonna scroll down here and you're gonna see a lot of stuff that they have down here on the main screen and you and you can just keep scrolling and scrolling and scrolling but let's just look at them right the first thing they have here on this tab is add a product to start selling you can do that bookmark your site so it's easy for you to access you might want to do that or you might want to email it to yourself so that you always know where you need to go to actually get started now this right here is important because it says your online store isn't open yet. So I have it, it's password protected right now. So if anyone were to go to the long URL at the top, they wouldn't have access to it because it's password protected. Now, when I'm ready to launch my store, I'm gonna disable this password so everybody can see. But having it password protected allows me to work in the background while you know people may be coming there but they won't see anything so i can make all of the changes that i need you know get your store ready for search engines so this is where you're going to keyword optimize all of your pages so that you set up your store and you name your products and everything exactly the way people search for it. So if you have a white t-shirt in your store, think about when people go to Amazon and they search for a white t-shirt. Maybe they might say, look, you know, white, white V-neck for males right? So these are the types of things you want to think about when you're setting up your products, because you want to set your products up so that it's easy for people to find them when they're searching for it. And that's another reason why setting up the blog is really important, because we're going to use the blog as, a, you know, almost as like your electronic press kit. You're gonna use your blog to really talk about and highlight a lot of products in your store. And you're gonna to wanna to tell stories about the products in your store. Because what that's gonna do for you when you set up blog pages that really highlight new items and talk about what's going on in your store, you're gonna really load it up with great keywords. So for example, let's stick with that white t-shirt. So if you have a white t-shirt and you do a blog post announcing it and you're like, we got this great new white V-neck, it's 100% cotton, it's good for males, but it's also good for females. You put a picture of it up there, you're talking about it, you know, you put like a 500 word description on your blog and then you have the links to the product in the store. What that's going to do is build more pages around your store and build more content around your store. And that's going to make it really awesome for the search engine. You know, as you're doing this, you're always going to want to think about how can I give the search engines love? How can I provide it with as much content as I can so I can get my items noticed and found on the internet? So this other tab is about shipping rates because you're definitely gonna to wanna to set that up. You can even create scan forms so you can set up your products if you have to ship it. So you can easily scan it and drop it off at the post office. And then Shopify has some awesome, great tutorials on YouTube. So for all of the greatness that I'm gonna give you guys tonight, you can still get more on the ultimate school of YouTube. Gotta love YouTube. 
And then when it comes down to international sales, you can set up your site to convert automatically for different languages. And then uh, Shopify has a great blog. So you can check that out as well. If you need tips, if you want to accept tips, on your store, you can do that. And then if you want to store all of your photos and all of that stuff in here, and if you want to just automatically upload it so you can have it easily accessible when you're building and designing, you can do that as well. So that's all of the information over here. Now on your left nav navigation bar, you know, you click, you're going to always be at home, right? What I love about Shopify is this button right here, orders. When you start receiving orders in your store, you're going to be able to come over here. As a matter of fact, as the orders come in, this is gonna light up. You know, It's gonna give you a, like a number. You might have like two, three, four. It's gonna light up and you'll know to come right over here because you have orders that you need to fulfill. You can fulfill orders automatically through the store, but if you get orders offline and you need to come and fulfill them online, you can do that as well by creating an order, right? Now, one of the things that I love, 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 love about this tab is the abandoned checkouts, right? Now, when people come in and they start the process of actually creating an order and then they, you know, people get distracted sometimes. Things happen, they walk away, they forget about it. Shopify has this abandoned checkout. And what it will do is it will capture all of the information that they put in, but they didn't hit the submit button. So what's great about this is the fact that you can come over here and get that information and you can follow up with that person. And you know, you can send them an email or something and say, hey, I noticed you didn't complete your order. You know, so why don't you come on back over and complete that order? Or you might want to, you know, be generous and offer that person maybe a discount or a coupon or something to incentivize them to come back over and complete that order. So that's the beauty of the abandoned checkouts. I love that. Now, this is the products area, right? This is where you can add all of your products that you want to have in your store here. So if you have t-shirts, if you have, you know, pins or anything like that, you just come over here and you can add a product. Now, if you want to drop ship, you can click the find products button and you can begin to add drop shippers to your site. So if you want to add a product, you just click on the add product button and you see how it has like short sleeve t-shirt. So for me, I would put something like, you know, white, white t-shirt or I would say white v-neck t-shirt and let me just say for women or I won't even say for women I'll put women in the front right women's white v-neck t-shirt and the reason why I, I would do it that way guys is because I know that when people go to Amazon and search for items this is how they will put it in they will say women's white v-neck t-shirt. And the more information that you can put in here, the better. And in this area, you're gonna put, you know, details like 100% cotton women's white v-neck, you know, you wanna put all of that stuff in here, t-shirt. And, you know, you can say things like great for um, casual wear, casual wear, and all of that other great stuff. So you can fill that stuff in here. And then you can leave it as a draft or whatever. If you have a picture of it, you can, you know, add it here. You can go to your, I'm just going to pick any picture, okay? I'm going to put a picture of a woman watching a video. You could put your picture here. You can add the media right off of your computer, right? 
You can put the price, maybe you want it to be $25. And then what you can do is put a comparison price. And, you know, maybe it's something that, you know, you want to put it on sale so that you can compare it at $30 or something like that. Then the great thing is you can put in here how much it costs. Maybe it costs you $15 and you can put that on there and you see Shopify will already tell you how much profit you're going to make on that item. And you'll see that it's 40% profit. Now, let me just pause right there and say, that right there is huge because I've worked with a lot of entrepreneurs and a lot of people are selling stuff and they don't know what their profit margin is. But the cool part about Shopify is that when you are selling items, you can see what your margins are right away. You can see whether you're losing money or whether you're not losing money. And that's important because we're in business to make money, right? And you want to click charge tax on this, this item because it's, if you're selling, especially in New York, you want to do that. Now, if you have a lot of inventory, you might, you know, have SKU numbers for all of your items or barcodes for all of your items. And you can put the SKU number and the barcode in here. And then you can track the quantity because maybe you have only, you know, 25 of these shirts available right? So you want to track the, the quantity, okay? You want to make sure you're doing that so that you can know, like, you know, am I coming low? Do I need to order? Do I need to pause selling of this item? Because, you know, I don't have that many left in stock. And then, you know, you want to put in the weight and all of that stuff because that's going to help calculate the shipping. You can do flat rate shipping or you could do shipping by weight. And when you go into the settings, which is, you know, going to be all the way down here at the bottom, that's where you're going to set up all of your basic information as it relates to shipping. And then you can put in a lot of information if it's coming, you know, have to come through customs and all of that other stuff, you can put that. But most people are not going to have all of that. Now, over here on this side, it's still showing as a draft, right? And you have the opportunity to make it active on your store. And, you know, you could just press the save button. Every time you're doing stuff in Shopify, you want to make sure that you press save so that you know it actually saves and you don't go over here and click something else on the left navigation menu without pressing save because what's going to happen if you navigate away from this and you haven't pressed save then what's going to happen is you're going to lose everything that you've done right and so um, this is where you're going to manage all the different sales channels. Remember when I said earlier that you can actually sell this on Instagram or you could connect all of your Instagram and Facebook and all of that stuff. This is where you're going to be able to manage all of that, right? And so on the store availability, you can schedule the availability on the online store but it should be there. And what you can do over here on this, this part of your Shopify store is you can begin to organize your items in your store. Now, when we get over here to the themes, you're gonna see what I mean by this, right? So maybe you wanna put all of the t-shirts in t-shirts, right? So that's gonna be a product type, t-shirts. So you want to add that and click save, right? And then you come down here and t-shirts could also be a collection. So remember when I talked about earlier, and I mean, and you guys have to think about this really for your business. Earlier, I said that, you know, I might want to have journals. I might want to have positive t-shirts. I might want to have a section of candles. Right, so some of you may have, like I know Julia has vases. She may organize her store and she has a Shopify store. She may wanna have, you know, the All-American collection, 
where all of her vases that have the, an all American look, because I know she uses African print, but maybe around the 4th of July, she might want to do something with the flag. And she might have vases that are like all American, like the flag, or, you know, for Valentine's day, she might want to have red and white vases. So she can have a Valentine's Day collection, or she can have, you know, an uh, um, Afrocentric collection, or, you know, she may have vases in, um, you know, you just have to be creative and have to organize these things the way your products are set up. So you can select collections. And then, you know, like this could be my t-shirt collection, right? And then you can choose whether or not you want to have that collection shown on your home page, right? And you just click that and you can add that collection actually to your navigation menu on your home page if you choose so. And then you can also add an image for your collection. All right. So over here, you could put all of your inventory information. If you have gift cards, you can put that there, but I think you have to have an updated plan to have gift cards. So if you were to set up your Shopify store for the two week period and you didn't select a plan, you wouldn't be able to create gift cards, but you can create digital gift cards with Shopify, which is really cool. And you can sell the digital gift cards so that other people can buy them and then they can give them to their friends digitally so that they can come and utilize them on your store. So you can sell them and you can send gift cards directly to your customers if you choose to. And that's one of the reasons why Shopify is such a great platform because it has all of this type of functionality all in one. It really makes you look like, you know, you're right there with some of the big players with some of the things that you're able to do with your Shopify store. Okay, so let's look at customers. You can come over here and add your customer details or you can import them. If you have your customer details on a um, Excel spreadsheet, you can import the information in here as well. And now remember when I said that it has amazing analytics, guys? This, I love the platform because it has all of this great information and now, you know, once your store is up and it's open and you've had it for like weeks and months, you can like, you know, customize the date and the range and you can get all of this information. You can get your total sales for the day, your sales over time. You can get the number of online sessions that you had. So the number of times people came to your store, you can see the return rate of your customers. Now that's huge because if you find that you have customers that are coming back all of the time, then you definitely might want to give them incentives, right? You can see the conversion rate of a lot of your items that you're selling. You automatically will find out what items are best sellers with Shopify because it's definitely going to tell you that information. And I know somebody is asking a question or have something in the chat. And let's see if I could see what you guys are saying in the chat. I think I'm going to have to stop screen sharing. But if you have a question, you can unmute yourself and ask the question. And I'm going to, you know, pause in a minute to come to your questions and everything in the chat. But um, let me just keep going through this. So the average order value you can find out. Now that's important as well because you can create with Shopify upsells. So, you know, there are apps in Shopify that will allow you to add additional items or recommend an item. So you know how when you go to a website and it says people who bought this also bought that. You know how when you go to Amazon, it says that? You know, you can now pair items in your Shopify store. You can, you know, actually say, you know, 
those people that brought this also purchased that. There's so many things that you can do to boost the sales of your items. It's, it's so powerful. But, you know, finding out the average order value is huge because you know on average how much people buy when they come to your store. Now, the average order value may be $25. And your goal for your business may be to increase the average order value for 2021. Now that you know it's $25, and now that you know like what, how people buy and what people combine or what you feel they should also buy, you can recommend it. And these are the types of things that will increase your average order value, which is huge. So you can see your total orders over a period of time. Um, you can see your top products sold by unit. Traffic, you can see the traffic and the, the traffic by source. So if you have traffic coming from Facebook, it'll tell you how many sessions you got from Facebook. It'll tell you how many sessions you got from Pinterest. It'll tell you how many sessions you got from Google. I love that. Also store sessions by location. You may be here in New York, but you may be getting most of your sales from Georgia or the UK. You'll be able to figure that out as well. And that'll give you a lot of good intel with the direction you should move your store into. And you can see if people are viewing your store by the phone or by their computer. I mean, all of this stuff is just amazing top landing pages. So you will not only see where the traffic is coming from, you'll see the, where they're landing. You'll see what pages are getting the most views. You'll see if people are referring your website, you'll see who your top referrers are. So if you have affiliates, you know, one of the things Shopify allows you to do is add an affiliate program. And there's nothing like having other people refer people to your store and then you incentivize them for doing that, right? You maybe you'll give them 30% if they refer somebody. You know, I can be an affiliate for Julia's store. And if I send a whole bunch of people to Julia's store, she can give me 30% of the sales and then she can see who's who's sending the people to my store. So there's so many things. I mean, you know, this is amazing. This is something that you're going to want to do a deep dive into. And, you know, once you start having lots of traffic, you could get live views, live report, you could create reports. This is where you're going to want to really spend time in your business, understanding what you need to do more of, what you need to do less of. But this is really powerful. And now marketing, and we're going to really get into marketing on the next call, but I just wanted to show you that they have a bunch of marketing templates that you can use, a bunch of marketing campaigns that you can create. Um, you see abandoned checkout emails by Sh Shopify is already active, and basically you can actually send an email automatically when somebody ban abandons your cart. And we're going to show you all of this stuff. And you can, like I said, you can market on Pinterest, Snapchat, a bunch of different ways that you can market and promote. And we're going to go into a lot of these campaigns next week. We're going to get into the marketing. So I'm going to run through this so we can get to actually setting up the store. So you can create discounts and promotions and create discount codes. All you have to do is click on this button. And if you want to create some type of sale, you can do it by percentage amount or you can do it by a fixed amount. You might only want to give somebody $5 off or you might want to do free shipping. And you can do that as well. You can also create a buy X and get Y. So if you buy this, you can get this at a whatever rate, or maybe it's at a discounted rate, or maybe it's for free. So, and you can apply it to all products or you can apply it to specific collections, or you could apply it to just specific items. So that's really powerful. And I know that, you know, a lot of times you have to do a lot of rearranging and a lot of manipulation to get this done on regular websites, but Shopify has it all done here. 
And remember I talked about all of the different apps. Well, Shopify has an app store, right? I'm gonna click on it. I don't know if you guys can see it because sometimes when I navigate away, I have to stop screen sharing. So I'm gonna stop screen sharing for a minute. It says, so Julia asks, can you combine your products and drop ship in the same store? So I'm gonna answer this question. Absolutely, you can. If you have products that you wanna sell and you also wanna drop ship items, you can do both. Yes, you can have your own products and you can drop ship from other people as well. What do you mean when you say customer's information? What I mean is all of their information. If you have your customer's name, first name, last name, email address, full address. Um, if you have your customer, well, the, 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 the site won't store credit cards in a way that it can be viewed or anything like that. And, you know, most credit card information is stored in payment processes, definitely not on stores like that. So, their full address, their email address, all of that information that you need to keep in contact with them is what you'll see. All right. Any other questions you guys can just drop it in the chat. So let's go look at this app store. So Shopify has a huge app store. You know, one of the apps is social proof. If you want to say things like, you know, so, you know, Julia Shaw from California just purchased this item. Um, Vera Moore from Long Island just purchased this item. You can add all of that stuff. You can add trust skills. You can add so many different apps. And a lot of them are free, but a lot of them you will have to pay for. So next week on our call, we're going to talk about what are some of the items that you definitely want to have in your store? Okay, but we're gonna go back. Let me um, go back. So let me know guys, if you can see that I'm back in the store. Cause like I said, sometimes when I maneuver around, you can't see. So here's some other questions. How can we apply free shipping? Okay, so basically when I went over here to the discounts um, and I clicked on this button here for the discount codes, you can click here for free shipping and then you can apply it. You can have it on one particular item or you can have it on a multitude of items. You can have it on all countries or selected countries, but there are also some ways that you can set up your products individually for free shipping as well. So remember when we went over here to the products section, right? So um, let me cancel that out. When we went over here to the products section, that's where we were able to put in all of the information for the products. And remember it had the shipping down there. I'm gonna leave the page and go over here. So you see when I have this women's t-shirt, I can double click over here to get into all of the details on that product for this t-shirt. But remember down here at the bottom where it has shipping information. So if I didn't want to, or if I didn't want to have shipping on it, I can actually uncheck this and then go into all of the different variants. And in the shipping section where it's down here in the settings, I can actually have it based upon weight or something like that. And I can say anything that's zero weight, that's zero shipping, right? So there's different ways that you can do the free shipping in Shopify. And there was a question, can I transfer my products that are already on eBay or just WordPress? It may be easier for you to transfer your items and import items from WordPress than eBay. But over here, when it said products, and it's like, I believe it was transfer. It's not transfer, it's inventory all products, import. And you could, if you have the ability to take all of the information from your eBay items and download them as a CVS file in a template, or if you're able to download all the information from WordPress or any other platform, Wix, if you could download the information into a CVS file, you can come over here and upload it 
and import it into, into Shopify. So I hope that um, answers your question, Ms. Jones. Okay, all right. So we talked about the apps. Now let's just dig right in and spend this last half hour or so in the store, okay? Because the store is pretty cool. So you click on your store and like I said, it's gonna show you again that the store is not visible to everybody because it's password protected. And now currently I have the debut theme. Now this is the normal regular Shopify theme that everybody normally gets. And what you can do over here is you can click on customize to customize the theme. You can change the theme as well. But you can see here, this is what it looks like right now. It really has nothing on it. So if you were to go to the site right now and look at it, this is what it looks like. So it has this header, it has the navigation, it has this big image with text overlay. And it has this section here, the image with text. Let me show you what you can do with this, right? And this is where it gets to be fun. You can change all of this stuff. Now, when it comes down over here to the header, you can click on header and you can change the logo. If I wanted to change the logo, I can come over here. You can see the logo is left aligned. It could be left aligned or it could be centered if you want it to be. So that's completely up to you. I prefer to have it left aligned. Um, it, over here it says select the image and then it also has this button for you to explore free images. So that's up to you if you wanna explore free images. I wouldn't do that. I would select an image and basically it's saying that your library is empty. Remember when we went on the homepage and I scrolled all the way down to the bottom and I said, if you have all of the images, you can just upload them right in that area and that will create your library. And then you can come over here and just dump things in from your library. But if you don't have anything in your library, you can upload it automatically. And what's gonna happen is it's gonna open up your own computer file. And let me just use this little Shopify logo that I have here. And see, it's gonna put Shopify right there, okay? So I'm just gonna leave it right now because this is for training purposes. Okay, so this is the header. And now you have your menu. Now you have first, you have your home and you have your catalog. If you wanna edit the menu, you can click on this button to edit the menu and you can add different things to your menu. You can come over here and click on add a menu item. If you wanna add something, if you wanna delete something, you can come over here and delete it as well, okay? So let's go back to the theme because I don't want to add anything. I don't want to change anything. Go back to customize. <laughs> so we talked about the header. And you remember what I said? If you don't click save, what's going to happen? I said, if you don't click save, nothing is going to change. You're gonna go back, you're gonna navigate away and everything is gonna still be the same. So let's do this again as it relates to the logo. I'm gonna use Shopify. So it did keep Shopify, the logo here, and I can select it again. So I didn't have to go back to my computer and keep it, I mean, and, and, and grab it, so that's good. So I'm just gonna click the save button over here on the right-hand side. But remember what I said earlier, I said, if you don't hit the save button, it is not going to change anything and you navigate away and you lose everything. Now, what's cool about Shopify is, you know how sometimes when you go to other people's websites and you see this big hello bar letting you know that all items are on sale, you can actually do that on Shopify with this thing called announcement bar over here on the left navigation menu. So all you would have to do is click show announcement bar and it's gonna pop up here and you see how it says announce something here. 
And then on the left-hand side in the left navigation area, it says announce something here. Well, you can put in all items on sale if you're having a sale right? Or if you wanted to link to a particular item and you have that link, you can actually paste the link here and this will link directly to a specific item within your store. And if you don't want the bar to be black, you can click on this button here and you can change it to red or if you know the HTML code for your branding colors, you can change it to that, or you can come over here and you know scroll up and down and pick a color that you like, like a blue or a green. I love like blues and greens. And you can change that over here on the left navigation bar. Now, most of the time, most of us are gonna be like, okay, I did that, oh good. And then you're gonna go click on to navigate somewhere else and you're gonna lose it. Don't forget, come over here and press the save so that you keep everything that you do. So then we're gonna navigate away and come back here. So now we have this big image over text overlay, but let me show you something. As you scroll down, you have this section here, image with text. But if you don't want it there, you can come over here on the left-hand side where it says image with text and see how you have this eyeball, so to speak, where it's like visible or not visible, you can click on here and it'll be not visible anymore. So now that's gone, right? And so now you might have your top three items in your store that you wanna showcase. And you can begin to change these items by just you know going to the section with the feature collections or with the text and the columns and you can begin to update this. But let's go over here and look at this image with text. Let's click on it. All right, now you may wanna keep, well, I don't know that anybody would wanna keep this, but you may want to have your very own big hero type image. They call this a hero image on a website. And you may wanna have your very own created. Now, I'm gonna tell you that most of these dimensions would be either 1200 pixels or 2000 pixels in width and about 400 pixels or 600 pixels in height. Now, why am I telling you this? Because what you can do is you can either explore the free images that they have here and you can change it if you want to, to something like, you know, related to shop local. And you may want an image like this there and you can just click on it and you'll see it'll change. And you can change the text if you want to, right? Or you may want an image that looks like this there and you can click on that and change it, right? And if you like it, you can press select and it will stay there. But remember, you gotta come over here and press that save button when you're ready, okay? So you have all of the images there. Now you see where it says image with text overlay? If you don't want that text there, you can just come over here on the left-hand side where it says heading and delete it, okay? Or if you want something else there, like, you know, welcome to the fantastic store, right? You could put that there if you want. And the little copy right here at the bottom, you can change that too, right? Where it says, you know, Everything is amazing here. You can put whatever, you know, everything is possible when you believe, right? Whatever your, you know, tagline is, you can put that there. If you wanna have a button with a link, you could put that information there as well and put, you know, enter the store or something like that. And maybe a button will appear. And then you would have to put a link. 
and then a button would appear. But you can link it to collections or something like that or whatever, or to your homepage, whatever you wanna do, right? And then you just press save. But you may not want any of the items that are here as your header. You may wanna create your own header, right? And if you wanna do that, you can head over to Canva. Canva is my, my favorite choice. And let me know if you guys can see this, right? You can head over to Canva and you can come over here and click create a design. But when you create a design, what you're gonna wanna do is you wanna have a custom size. So you wanna click down here and do a custom size. And you want to remember that you want to do something that's between 1,200 pixels in width and 600 pixels in height. So this 1,280 by 600 probably would be something good for you to create your very own hero image. And then once you create it here, and then what, what will happen is Canva will give you a lot of different um, templates that you can use and you may want to use something that you know kind of looks a little bit like this and you can stretch it out a little bit and then if these aren't the pictures that you want you want to have different photos you know maybe you might want to have this lady here and you could come and drop her picture in here right and maybe you want to say that this is like Julia's store maybe you might want to get rid of this but you can come over here and you could design like a pro in Canva and then download it on your computer and then head on back over here to Shopify and you could change the image and create it and make it something else. So that's a possibility for this header section. But, I'm, but just for purposes of this class, I'm going to leave this the way it is. I'm gonna pause for a minute because I think you, there's a question. Um, Sadaf asks, do you have to have handmade items or in items that you created yourself like Etsy or can you buy low and sell high from other stores? Yeah, so you, you may have not have heard it earlier. You may have come on a little bit later. I actually talked about drop shipping. So you can drop ship and there are a ton of drop shippers connected to Shopify. So you can connect the drop shippers right into the Shopify store and you can have your drop ship items there. Um, Shopify has a company called Orbelo, Orbelo, Orbelo is with the O, O-B-E-R-L-O. -E and they have a lot of drop shipping items that you can use um, on Shopify and you can connect it directly to the store. So, you know, you just have to know what you're doing when you're drop shipping, though, because you have to be careful with the margins and be careful with the shipping because, you know, the drop shipper is going to, you know, charge you the price and they're going to charge you the shipping price. So you have to make sure that you're including both when you mark it up. OK, and you can also make up some of your money in your shipping charges as well. So you just have to be careful with a lot of those items. So let's go to this next section, columns with images and text, right? So columns with images and text would be this section right here. And this is what I wanna tell you about this section. You know, um, you may have pictures of your items, right? When I look at this and I eyeball it, it tells me that it's about 350 by 350 pixels. This is like a perfect square. So regardless of the pictures that you have of your items, what I would do is I would go over to Canva and I would create a design and it's already clicked over here. I would create a design <clears throat> that was 350 by 350 pixels and I would create a design. And if I, you know, like if the item was like, say it's like yoga pants, I don't know. It could be yoga pants or a yoga mat. We're gonna take this picture. You may have pictures of your item already, items already, but what I would do is I would come over here and I would drop the pictures or upload the pictures here because you can upload pictures here, right? 
but I would upload the pictures and I would take them and, and resize them in Canva so that all of your images, if you actually use this template over here, let's go to this section over here. If you actually utilize this template and you have these three items with, you know, where you can add a tagline and, you know, some information and a description, I would definitely come over here to Canva and resize everything because you can have pictures of your item and one is four by six, one is three by five, and then it's gonna look crazy when you put it in your store. But to make sure your store looks really good, really crisp and really clean, you're gonna wanna make sure that you have it set up by you know, the right pixels. So I'm gonna say yoga pants. And then I'm gonna download it on my computer, right? And I'm gonna say, okay. And then I'm gonna come over here to my store and say for this first item over here, we can select the image and I'm gonna upload it from my computer. And here are my yoga pants that I created in you know 350 by 350 pixels. And you see how nicely it fits? So I can kind of eyeball this, engage and see that this is 350 by 350 pixels. Okay, so I like this. I like the way it looks. I'm gonna hit select. And then where it says add tagline, now I'm gonna say these are my yoga pants, right? And then I'm just gonna leave this, but you know this section here is where you can come and change the description, right? And don't forget to save. So I'm gonna press save. So I'm gonna come over here again, and now I'm gonna look up white t-shirt. And I'm gonna show you this because I want you guys, when you're doing this and setting up your stores, I want you to make sure, I'm gonna delete this out. I want you to make sure that you have your images and that they all like really consistent and so it looks good. So I'm gonna call this white t-shirt, right? White t-shirt. And it's really good to do this with all of your images. And it's good for you to name the image the exact same way people will search it. And it's good to have all of that stuff uploaded because believe it or not, all when a, when a search engine crawls your website, it's, it crawls all of that information and data. And it's looking for everything that says white t-shirt, white t-shirt, white t-shirt. And everywhere you have it, if you have it named in the image, if you have it named you know, on, in the title of the item, then all of that's gonna play a role in having your items get found on the search. Okay, so now I did that one and this is great. I clicked save. I can go back and I can click over here to the second one and I can come and I can upload and I can go because I downloaded it on my computer and I can click open. Now there it is. And now my images are consistent and they look the same because I went in Canva and I made sure that they were all the same. So I hit select, I come down here, I change the heading to white t-shirt, okay? And then you can always come back and change this description, but description, but remember to hit save, okay? So now we're starting to really make our store. Look at our store! Our store is coming together. It's starting to look really good. And then here, if you want, let's go back. I hit save, but let me pause a minute because I think somebody has a question. Oh, you were asking about physically shipping the store bought items to the customers directly. You can do that with Shopify. I can tell you that my, my daughter had her, um, she sells lashes. Right, my, my daughter is 22, she sells lashes. Originally, she set up her website on Wix and she got tired of Wix. Her and her business partner got tired of it. So they moved it over to Shopify. They source the um, lashes and boxes from a different a company out of, I think they're out of China somewhere. And, you know, so she has her boxes designed and she sources her products from a supplier and she gets her sales from Shopify and then they ship them 
you know, physically. So you can do that as well with Shopify. It's more of a manual process, but you definitely can do that here, right? So then you can come back over here and it's gonna take you down here. We did text with columns, now feature collection. So remember when I said that you might wanna group your items into collections and you may have t-shirts and you may have journals and you may have, you know, uh, picture frames with positive sayings. You may have a lot of different things. You may have items for the office. So for me, what I'm thinking about for my store are t-shirts with positive quotes, um, frames with positive quotes that you can put in your office. I'm thinking of items where you could de-stress, a de-stress candle. I'm thinking of journals and a bunch of things that I wanna have on my store. And I will be creating different collections. But if you don't want this, like I said, you can press the non-visible and it will move on to the next section, right? So if now you wanna have another big image with an overlay that speaks to something else about your business, you can have that. And you can change it just like we changed it before. Now down here, if you keep scrolling down, there's testimonials. I mean, if you had something like, you know, like for the Network for Women in Business, what I would have is, you know, and you guys are going to see it next week because I'm going to be designing in the background. When we come back next week, you'll see what I've done. And I would love to see what you guys have done. So I would love to be able to make some of you panelists so you can share your screen and you can begin to show us what you've done because you can see how easy it is to come over here and update your themes, right? Um, so what I would do is I would have, you know, my items and all of that stuff, my featured items, my featured collection. But when I get down here, I may highlight an event, right? I may highlight my small business boot camp, or I have my new course coming up. And I may show a picture of me teaching right here. Somebody has a question. Good evening, just joining me. Request to have the replay. Yes, you can definitely have the replay. That's, that's a, a great question. But I may get right here and talk about, hey, I have this upcoming course coming up. You can get started, you can get registered. And I may have an image of me teaching. And then I may have some testimonials from my students. So, you know, we talked about earlier, can you sell products? Can you sell services? Well, guess what? You can sell products, services, events, all of that. And I mean, and that's, that's pretty powerful. And then down here is your gallery. So I showed you the testimonial section. You might have testimonials here that you wanna show. And then there's a gallery. You may have people that have purchased your items in your gallery. You may have pictures of you at events pictures of you with celebrities and all of that in your gallery. And then at the bottom, which is the footer area, right? You can show quick links and you can update that over here. You can add additional links if you want to. If you want people to sign up for your newsletter, you can have that here. You can add additional content if you want to. If you wanna show all of these payment gateways, you can, or you can click here and remove it or you can click here and show it. And then you have your store information here. You could change the background, you can change the color, you can change the language, you could change the currency if you want to. You can do all of that here with your theme. And that is pretty amazing. And right now I have the debut theme. But you know, there, there's multiple different themes and you can change, you can do a whole bunch of things over here. You can come over here in the theme settings, you can change the color. If you don't like the font, you could change the font to something else. If you wanna add all of your social media icons, you can add that. And all you have to do is put your social media information in here, right? You can add a favicon and you guys know what a favicon is. Um, like if you can see all of these uh, tabs that I have open, you see Shopify has the little Shopify icon as a favicon. So that's what a favicon is. 
and you have to have your favicon scaled down to 32 by 32. Now, remember when I said you could just go over to Canva and you click create a design, right? And you would just change the dimensions to 32 by 32. And you could create, take your logo and size it down. And then you could create a favicon and you could come over here to Shopify and you can add it, okay? And so this is the debut theme, guys, but you definitely have a whole bunch of other themes that you can use. You can actually, you know, change the theme. And what's really cool, you see the changes that we, we did? It shows you in the, the desktop view. You can also see in the mobile view, right? So this is the debut theme. If you scroll down here, you can explore all the different free themes that Shopify has. And they, they have quite a bit of free themes that you can use. And then also, if you're feeling really, you know, excited, you can visit their theme store and you can purchase a theme if you want to. And they have a lot of different themes for different categories of product, you know, of companies. If you have electronic store, health and beauty store, so you can explore all of these different themes and you can buy a theme if you don't like the one that's available to you there okay or if you purchase a theme for somebody from somebody from the outside you can upload it here and you can you know have that theme there and you can definitely change it around now let's see somebody else had a question i am a photographer does shopify allow a customer to view a product in actual format or if you can make it bigger without downloading and taking a screenshot? That's a good question. I'm not 100% sure about that, but I know that you have different dimensions and things you can play around with. And definitely if you need things to be seen in a very specific way, I would, you know, definitely go over to where they have all of these different types of themes. And if they have a theme that's specific for photography, I would look for that. You see how it has by different industry, maybe under sports and recreation or something for photography. But I would look at that because you see how the different themes have different layouts and different ways you can see the picture, the pictures. So definitely I would peruse that. All right. So here is, you know, the blog. You can definitely set up blog posts, right? You can write a blog post and then you can add your blog to your menu. Remember I showed you that, how you can edit your menu, but having a blog is, is really important. And like I said, the more pages you have on your website that actually speaks to the product that you're selling, then that's the more traffic you're going to get. Now, really quickly, we're going to go over more of this stuff and we're going to go over the navigation in the next call. Anything that I don't go over today, I'm going to definitely add it to the next week's call. But definitely, um, I'm going to leave the page without any saving. But definitely, when you come over here to the settings, this is really important. So I want you guys to definitely go over all of these tabs, but the ones that are the most important are the payments because you definitely want to set up Shopify payments on your store. You want to be able to um, accept payments on your store and it, it automatically comes with your Shopify account. These are all of the different payment gateways that they accept and this is how much you pay um, to them for the credit card transactions. So you come over here and you complete the account setup. You can also set up your PayPal. You can connect it. You can set up, complete that setup. And you can also activate Amazon Pay. A lot of people have Amazon credit cards. So I don't think that it would be a bad thing 
for you to do that, okay? So you also, that's important. So you wanna do that. If you wanna ever update your store details, you can come over here if you wanna change the store name or anything like that, or change the industry. You wanna put your legal business name and all of that stuff in here. You wanna make sure that you have Eastern Standard Time. You wanna go through all of these setting tabs. One that's gonna be really important is the legal aspect of your business. You wanna make sure that you set up your refund policy, your privacy policies, and also your terms of service. What's really cool is you can create these from a template and basically uh, Shopify has a basic template and you can change it around for your specific store. So you wanna do that. These are important. Okay, you can come back over here to the settings. Remember when I had abandoned cart notifications and it said it was already set up? It's because I came over here and I actually activated it. So basically you can set up automatic notifications to go to your customers for different reasons. And then, you know, if an order was refunded, canceled or anything like that, what you can do is come over here and you're gonna see a lot of code and then you're gonna see information like your order has been canceled and then you're gonna see these snippets. You don't wanna change that information, but if you wanna customize it a little bit, you can come over here and customize where the text is to make it more you know, customizable to your business. But what I would encourage you to do under these settings, go in to each and every one of these and make sure you read it, understand it, and set it up and activate everything, especially the shipping. The shipping is gonna be really important for you to come over here and activate it and make sure that you have all of your shipping rates set up the way that you want it set up for your business. You know, now that's something that I couldn't tell you because you would know if you're, ha if you're shipping heavy items, light items and things like that. But remember when we first started and I said that, you know, when we came over here to the home homepage and we talked about the university, I'm gonna go back to it because like I said, as great as I am, I know you're still gonna have some questions, right? Um, so where was the University of YouTube? Right here. There are a bunch of tutorials here on Shopify's YouTube channel. So if you ever get stuck with anything, you can either reach out to us. And if we're not readily available, because you know we have students here that are gonna be available to help you with the Small Business Development Center. You have me that's gonna be in the background helping the students that's gonna be available for you at the Small Business Development Center at your college. You have Brian and you have Harry. We're all here and we're gonna be available to help you. But if you need immediate attention and it's a question that you can figure out from YouTube, definitely I wanna encourage you to go there. So how do we migrate our website onto this platform? So I, I had kind of showed that a little bit earlier, how you can migrate your products into the platform. Um, if you have like your, uh, a, a special developer develop a template for you, you can upload that template theme on to Shopify. But when it comes down to customizing your theme, you're gonna have to really do that yourself. So you can't really take what you have from Wix and bring it over and it will look exactly the same. You're gonna have to work on customizing your themes or you can have a developer work on creating a special one for you and then you'll be able to upload your theme. So we're right at 831. So what I wanna do is stop sharing my screen for a second and then I'm going to actually uh, go back to sharing my screen. I wanna go back to my, um, my presentation for a minute so we could close out. I wanna be respectful of your time. I wanna do a new screen share, put this in present mode. You see, I even make my presentations using Canva. So we went through all of that and I just wanna let you guys know that next week, what we're going to cover is how to really optimize your store, what 
apps you need to add to your store and why. We're going to go over some be best practices as it relates to operating your store, you know, because you may have some people that you want to help you out to be a part of your team. We're going to talk about that. And we're going to talk about utilizing all of these other different channels and how you're going to have your grand opening and how you're going to drive traffic to your store. So I'm really excited about all of this. And I just want to say, you know, thank you to you guys for hanging in there, for listening. You could definitely contact us. My email address is Brown at gmail.com. And then you have Brian's email address and Harry's email address. And you can definitely reach out to us all at the York College Small Business Development Center. So I'm going to just check out the chat to see if you guys have any more questions. Um, I don't see any. So I'm going to stop screen sharing and... Uh, ask you so how was it did you guys get a lot out of this yes yes awesome <laughs> awesome 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 so how did how did i do professor did i do a, a great job mr robert i did a great job <laughs> outstanding <laughs> outstanding Awesome, awesome, great. So this this has been awesome. I'm glad, thank you guys for the feedback. I'm glad that this is informative. I'm telling you guys that next week when you come back, I'm gonna have my store set up. I'm gonna go set up my theme. And I hope that with this information, I have all of you guys contact information. We recorded this. I'm going to send out the recording to you tomorrow so you'll have it you'll be able to go back over the steps and you'll be able to go ahead and set your shopify store up customize your theme add your first products and everything so i am excited to be able to be here with you like i said before I'm going to be here. Brian is going to be here. We have the students available to help you. I will be training them along the way and um, I will be uh, helping them to get you up and running and ready to go with Shopify. So you can have your grand opening and start sending people to your website. This is gonna be fun. This is gonna be fun. You know, with this whole pandemic, we all have to make our pivots and we're pivoting and we're pivoting well. So I'm going to turn it over to Brian and Mr. Wells so they can have the last words. Oh, Harry. <laughs> Somebody oh. needs to wake Harry up. Okay, so we will go ahead and end things. I hope that you did get some use out of this webinar. Um, thank you, everyone, for listening and tuning in. And thank you so much, um, Tony, um, Harry, uh, Robert, really appreciate you taking the time to participate um, in this webinar. Awesome, awesome. And we'll see you guys next week. All right, make sure you get registered. When I send out the replay, I'm definitely going to send out um, the registration and everything. So tell everybody that you know, that they need to check us out. We're here and we're here for you to help you. Thank you guys so much. All right, thank you. All right, Mr. Wells, did you want to say anything thank before you. we go? Oh, thank you very much. And next week, bring at least one, one other person with you, okay? Yes, yes, awesome. All right, see ya. Bye-bye. Bye, everybody.